now let us discuss about java virtual machine in short we can call it as jvm we know that java is the most popular object oriented programming language which is invented by sun microsystems in 1995 but currently oracle corporation owns java programming language here mainly we have a software called jdk jdk stands for java development kit jdk provides an environment to develop java applications jdk contains several tools such as jre and it contains several tools like java c java compiler and java a debugger uh, so that is about what is jdk uh, let's see about jre jre stands for java runtime environment which provides an environment in order to run our java applications jre mainly contains jvm so in this now we are focusing on jvm jre mainly contains jvm jvm means java virtual machine uh, we know that uh, a java program is a collection of classes so we know about uh, what is a compiler compiler compiles the source program uh, compiler translates source code into the byte code byte code means the extension is dot class file so if our program contains five classes then the java compiler will produces five class files but we have to execute the main class so that means the main method which is present in the class so that is called as main class so even if we have five classes we need to execute only the main class so here the point is uh, jvm mainly contains two things class loader and uh, java interpreter class loader loads that main class into the jvm for execution because uh, that main class file is needed for the execution so jvm mainly contains class loader and java interpreter so what is the responsibility of the class loader it loads our main class into the jvm that is needed during the runtime or execution next we know that the task of jvm is it executes the java program line by line but that is possible internally with the help of java interpreter interpreter executes the byte code line by line next here uh, we have a compiler called jit compiler jit jit compiler stands for uh, just in time compiler here jit compiler works along with jvm in order to improve the performance of our java programs uh, so here we have uh, this this part is nothing but jvm jvm mainly contains class loader and java interpreter here we have a host system so uh, we may have windows operating system or uh, linux operating system in our computer uh, here we know that java is platform independent language so what is java java is platform independent language why because uh, uh, if we run java on one operating system then the same program can be executed on any operating system on the other operating systems also uh, whereas jvm is platform dependent so what is jvm jvm is platform dependent why because here 
uh, we know that the compiler will produces the byte code the compiler will produces byte code byte code means the extension is that uh, dot class file here the same byte code can be executed on windows operating system or linux operating system or mac operating system apple mac operating system so here windows operating system has its own jvm windows jvm windows jvm it executes the corresponding byte code likewise linux operating system has its own jvm linux jvm it executes the corresponding byte code next we have uh, let us take mac operating system so mac operating system has its own jvm it executes the corresponding byte code so here the point is uh, jvm is platform dependent each operating system has its own jvm so if we are using linux operating system then linux has its own jvm if we are using windows operating system it has its own jvm so windows jvm translates our byte code into the mission code and executes the program so likewise mac operating system mac jvm translates the byte code into the byte code into the mission code and executes the program so that is about what is jvm uh, next here we have java program class files so we know that uh, this class loader loads the class into the jvm it is the responsibility of the class loader to load the main class into the jvm for its execution so for that the class loader will takes the class from the java program next here we have java api class files so we know about java api api stands for application programming interface java api is a collection of classes here we have a class called scanner class this is very very important class so with the help of java api classes we can do input operations output operations if we want to work with uh, some gui components or awt components we can work with uh, all those components with the help of uh, this java api classes so let's see two to three classes we have a class called scanner class if we want to use scanner class then we must uh, import util package why because scanner class is available in util package so likewise we have uh, string buffer class string buffer class and we have string class so if you want to make use of uh, string buffer class or string class then we must import lang package why because these two are available in uh, lang package so this is about java api so api means a collection of classes so here this class loader makes for developing the program we have to make use of the java api classes So this is about JVM or Java Virtual Machine.